Overnight, where we have a lot of the budding trees and blooming plants from Kansas City south of the river toward Butler, Clinton, and Sedalia, that's where we could have a killing freeze as temperatures will drop below the freezing point of 32 degrees overnight and for Monday morning. That's what the lows will be for tomorrow morning. 29 in Marshall, 29 in Clinton, Lawrence, 27, Ottawa, 28 degrees and 28 degrees in St. Joseph. So cover your plants up if you're able to do that. You know, just putting a stake down or pull down and then a tarp over that. That can go a long way from preventing any damage to your plants if you can't bring them in. Tomorrow afternoon, full sunshine will make it into the 60s and we will have the wind beginning to pick up from noon through the evening out of the south at 20 to 30 miles per hour. So we're definitely going to feel like spring tomorrow. Highs mainly in the 60s, close to 70 on the Kansas side there in Lawrence. We'll go for about 68 degrees. Morning wind, not that bad. Afternoon wind, now it's starting to pick up. South to southwest, averaging 20 to 25 miles per hour. We'll have some gusts over 30. By sunset tomorrow, the wind will die down just a bit but not much. It will remain windy even overnight and stronger winds on the way for Tuesday. So tomorrow and Tuesday, we will have a high fire danger for all the counties shaded in the red. That's where we'll have the fastest wind. It could gust up to 40 miles an hour. The lowest relative humidity, so not a lot of moisture in the atmosphere. This is where if any grass fires do start, they will spread quickly. So keep that in mind on Monday or Tuesday. I'd put off any outdoor burning on those days. It'll stay windy on Wednesday as well. And check out the highs on Tuesday and Wednesday. I mean, full throttle well into the 70s, close to 80 degrees ahead of a cold front coming in on Wednesday. Now, I do think there's the potential for thunderstorms, and I'm not quite certain about uh, the severe potential. I'm not ruling it out just yet. I'll know more about that in the coming days, but I want you to just kind of put a pin in Wednesday with the thunderstorms coming mm -hmm. through in the afternoon and the evening, especially in Missouri.